microfilming is actually basically uh, like a photography. You photograph a document and you put them into a film, either 16mm or 35mm. Film is the best media for preservation. The media will be safe for 500 years. If we do not microfilm the analog, today we will have lost a lot of information. Whatever I do in life, I learn it from shoemaking. That is my background. Every leather is different. Every cow is different. You know, it's same with microfilm. I, I think that's what maybe intrigued me. Every document is an art piece. You know, uh, it's different. So you have to treat every document differently. The journey was tough. I've got no experience whatsoever. Completely no experience. I have to learn everything from the scratch. When I bought a machine, I know nothing about the machine. I don't know what is chemistry, I don't know what is developer, and I don't know what is fixer. All I know is I need to learn. Digital technology came in very fast, 1996, 1997. And scanning was just into the market. I'm a shoemaker. I'm in the analog, and digital is another phase of my life, another challenge. But I had no choice, because if I want to survive in the next level, I must learn digital. So the only progression is to move from analog to digital and digital back to analog. I've got no money to buy that kind of machines. I have to strip off my machine, the existing machine, which cost me $60,000, strip the whole camera off to understand the mechanical parts of it. Every little part, before I took it out, I had to label them and learn them. And then I put them all in writing. I designed my own firmware. I asked them to build, just move from part A to part B. That's how it started. And from there, I built the whole camera. Nine out of ten times, they tell me it is not possible. This is the first version that we did. It is a really a... It's more than a baby. This is our second version. This is the only one in the world that we use that uh, is able to do colour. It is something which I've never done in my life before. When I see this, I, it does bring tears to my eyes. Whether it's a perfect image or not, it is a starting point. And the, the most difficult in development and innovation and challenges is huh, the first step. And we did it. Passion for me is not about liking to do it. See, when I came to microfilm, I, I don't think, I don't imagine myself falling in love with it in a sense. People will tell you all kinds of things about it, uh, that you should not do it, you should do it. There are many people who are doing it, it's the old technology. You will meet many challenges. And that doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. I think when I reflect on it, uh, you're proud, yes, you have achieved something. But at the same time, you are humble. Without my wife's backing, without my children behind me, without the engineers that I have, without even the workers who helped me to do some of the work to test, I don't think I can do it. The achievement cannot be your own. It must be from everybody. Doing what I have done, you know, building an archive writer and processor, moving from a sunset shoe making to microfilming to you know learning and innovating, exporting, internationalization, globalization, traveling all over the world. This, yes, it makes me happy. But 
that is only temporary. But my lasting peace is I'm at peace with my family. And that, to me, is very important. There's no better happiness than having peace in the home.